When hydrogen and oxygen combine to form a water molecule, it happens in an explosive way, an explosive chemical reaction. Chemical reaction is, uh, occurs when the electrons form new orbitals that serve as a glue to hold the elements together in, in, in a new combination, a new way. We also say that a chemical reaction takes place when we uh, break uh, the atoms apart. That is, we break the orbitals apart and try to restore the elements to their original uh, uh, kinds. So the question is, if you've taken water, or if you've taken oxygen and hydrogen together to form water, can you turn around and break them apart and get back the hydrogen and the oxygen? If so, you do so uh, as a chemical reaction. This device is a device for doing that. If you're going to break water apart, you've got to, to bring back to those molecules the energy that they lost when the molecules were formed. And so this device is a device to provide electrical energy, which we're going to put into the water, the water molecules, in such a way that it will separate the hydrogen and the oxygen. This device works in the following way. We have water that fills these tubes. We have a source of electrical energy. We put a little sulfuric acid in there to make the water conduct electricity. And then, as the gases are produced, the hydrogen and oxygen, they bubble up in these tubes. And as they bubble up, they form little pockets of gas up here in the top of the tube. On one side is going to be hydrogen, and on the other side is going to be oxygen. So on this side, you have a pocket of gas, which then pushes the fluid down and uh, leaves the pocket. On this case, on this side, the uh, gas has come up, created a pocket of gas here, and push the fluid down. But when you see that, you'll notice that the pockets are not the same size. This one appears to be about half as big as the pocket on the other side. Well, the equation for the chemical reaction provides us a clue to tell us on which side is the hydrogen and on which side is the oxygen. If we write down the chemical equation for this process, this breaking down of water into hydrogen and oxygen, the equation, when it's balanced, says that two water molecules break down into two hydrogen molecules plus one oxygen molecule. And it's that two hydrogen molecules compared to the one oxygen molecule that gives us a clue as to which side is the hydrogen and which side is the oxygen. The larger pocket on this side, twice as big as this one, must contain the hydrogen, and the smaller pocket on this side must contain the oxygen. So balanced chemical equations tell us something about what actually happens when we do the experiment.